hello and welcome back to utopia must fall if you didn't see my previous video on this game you should go back and watch it before watching this video because we're going to be covering something a little bit special this time last time we were just doing a bit of a less try on the game and since then i have played it for a lot you can even see my high score at the top of the screen um, but one thing that I actually discovered is that if you go to the reward list, these are all of the things that you can get from doing various challenges and you go all the way to the end. There are two challenges at the end that are unique. They're even colored separately. Berserker and Nuclear Boycott. Now, if you saw the title to this video, you know which one we're going for today. I'll make a video on Nuclear Boycott in the future. But these unique things berserker Char charter and operation hermit they are more than just a one-off reward they are in fact quite literally game changing so what we're going to have to do to get berserker is we are going to have to five survive five consecutive days with the city shield offline so we're going to go ahead and jump into a game and we're going to get our shield destroyed instantaneously but as carefully as we can and then we just need to survive at any cost and once we do we'll unlock something pretty fucking cool but only for that run because this game has no meta progression which i absolutely adore so let's get started neo tokyo so we are going to uh we're going to let the first few things kind of just hit our shield asteroids are good for this because they'll bounce whenever they hit. And we'll make sure that our shield goes down. But we don't want it to be... There we go. We don't want to die. Okay, now we have to make sure we don't die. Okay, so our shield's offline. We will not be buying any shield regeneration or anything like that. Um, And from this point on, we just need to worry about other things. All shield perks, including the uh, electric lash and stuff like that, are basically useless to us for the rest of the run. We won't be getting our shield back ever again. So we're going to grab Nuclear Weapons Lab right away. Nuclear Weapons Lab allows us to stockpile and actually generate nukes. Um, we will want quite a few of those. Nukes will be a good answer to some of the harder challenges. And we, we are going to be trying to uh, complete as many like achievement challenges as possible just for like the extra points so you know we have to kill all the asteroids before they hit the ground you know uh all those kinds of stuff we will get a whole bunch of points for this particular round right here just because this will be uh, i think the achievement is called commando I'll go ahead and put a nuke here um it'll be called commando where we went an entire thing without a shield so yeah we got i almost we completely filled our upgrade bar and almost got yet another upgrade and that'll help us get everything we need in order to get this up and going as quickly as possible. Uh, let's grab rationed warha warheads early, and then every time we see a railgun upgrade, we will be grabbing that railgun upgrade, because those will be pretty useful. We're going to be very reliant on our railgun um, this time around, and our railgun is going to get really strong, um, like really strong. Uh, we're also going to try and find automation as soon as possible. I don't even know if I showed off automation last time. We'll go ahead and nuke these guys to make sure that we don't die here. Automation is really useful. Basically, you can put down some turrets. And the turrets help by, like, shooting projectiles in the air. And they'll shoot some ships if they get cl too, too close. But primarily, they allow you to focus on ships yourself because they'll take care of the projectiles for you. Let's see. Increase fire rate. That's perfect. We... I don't think we can get automation until past day seven. So there's no reason to roll for it or anything like that. I've never seen it show up before day seven, at least. Um, there's certain things that just kind of don't show up early on. I have noticed that kind of waving your gun back and forth like this uh, can actually be pretty useful because otherwise you kind of waste shots by overkilling things quite a lot. And again, we're primarily focusing on survival right now. And getting as many points as possible. We're trying to see just how far we can get here. Ooh, very nice. And a secondary upgrade. So we will get increased production. So that's more nukes per day. And increased gimbal speed. So that is now, whenever I do this, 
my uh, railgun turret actually follows my my cursor a little bit better. Those little red guys will actually run into you if you give them the chance. Oh, we need to... Yep, I think we need to do this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe... That actually... Oh, I blew up that missile like it was like in the atmosphere of our city. Oh boy. That was touching someone's porch. That was almost a very early run reset. Uh, Antimatter Warheads makes them larger and they will now pull in objects whenever uh, I set off a Warhead. Again, I'm trying to hold back on Warheads, but I'll use them if I need to. Basically, anytime I feel panicked. One thing to keep in mind if you do play this game yourself is that the Warhead actually goes to where your cursor is. Um, and it won't explode before then. Just kind of a thing that you kind of have to get. Just Speaking of, we're going to nuke this guy because I don't like having to fight one of those guys at the same time as a bunch of other units. It's dangerous, and we don't... There we go. Now we have Berserker. So we have... And this is the only time this research will show up. If I roll right now, this research will go away. Invoke Berserker Charter. Now or never. Decommission the city shield and related infrastructure. Divert resources to extreme defensive capabilities. 10% increase in nuclear burn damage. And it gives us some unique new stuff. So we're going to invoke the Berserker Charter, and then we will, I think, do the Sawed-Off Barrels, which is one of the, these orange ones are going to be new because of Berserker Charter. So we now have increased trajectory speed from each individual railgun barrel with a 10% velocity boost. And now our city turns red. So now there's like a spread to our gun, which might sound bad because it's like, oh, well, you have less accuracy. But no, that's actually uh, generally a good thing. Because like I said, you know, flipping it back and forth was actually a useful strategy. And then now the game kind of just does it for us. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. This guy was about to freaking run into my city. You know what? I'm just going to do that because getting a lot of kills of a nuke is actually one of the potential challenges I can do. That's weird. The little Kalamari guy showed up and then ran away. Institute of Automation. We have to grab that as soon as possible. And then deploy laser tower. So now we'll have a laser tower here. If we click on the bottom of it, we can change the targeting mode from nearest, weakest, strongest. Um, I am going to leave it on nearest, I say. And then this, you'll see a little bubble there. That indicates how far that laser tower can fire. It doesn't do a lot of damage. But if we can set it up so that uh, it fires at, like, small things, it will help us. For sure. It also will help us against ground targets. Like, what is now going to be something that we will actually have to start dealing with. Is there should be ground targets from now on. We do want to get these railgun upgrades that are unlocked because of... Berserker Charter as soon as possible because they are we're going to be pretty reliant on them to be honest but I will say that I found that Berserker Charter seemed to be stronger it's high risk high reward obviously but it seemed to be stronger than even the base city we did another laser tower I think I like the extra laser tower over uh attack speed oh I meant to customize that laser tower my bad We want to kill that little squid guy because he is going to laser our city or one of our towers. And that could be an instant death. So, gotta be careful. I'm always going to be waiting to the last moment to try and use my nukes because things get more hectic later. And I honestly would like to save up nukes in these earlier areas for the more hectic things. Because I am relatively confident we can make it through without using too many nukes early on here. Plus, there's a lot of rewards you can get for not using nukes. There's, you, there's rewards you can get for using nukes as well, though, so. Let's see. Advanced Material Labs, that'll give us some 
pretty nice stuff. And I don't know what the unlock condition for the particular thing that I'm looking for is. I've only gotten it once, but as soon as I got it, I was like, oh, I have to show this off. No, I was worried he was going to fire for a second. But no matter what, improving our, like I said, improving our railgun is going to be uh, infinitely useful. This is basically a railgun focused run. And if you guys are enjoying the, the content, you know, make sure to stick around for the next run as we'll do the other unique challenge. And that one is going to be very different. Asshole, just one more thing. Hit him in the back. Oh, yeah. We knew where he was going. We knew where he was going. I feel bad that I wasted two nukes this run, but we can't take a single hit. So we could die at any time. Superconducting mag rail. Okay, so now my mag rail does a lot more damage. It's a little bit faster. It does this little, like, like it looks like a debuff, but I don't think it's actually a debuff. One thing to keep in mind if you're playing this game yourself is that whenever you see enemy formations like this, they'll stop firing their guns if you kill enough of them and break their formation. So you don't have to kill all of them. You just have to kind of like focus them for a moment and kill just a bunch of them. So if you're having trouble with formations firing at you, you know, instead of wasting a nuke like that, you could just fire straight through the center of them and kill enough of them that they break formation. Because then they'll just kind of run around with their, their heads cut off. And they won't be a threat to you anymore. Once again, we're going to kill these guys. Because those guys can be consistent problems. And we missed that one. So now I'm going to... I wasted a nuke, so I'm just going to kill them, I think. Yeah, this is why I this is why I do this. is because now we're sitting here having to both fight him and his missiles. There we go. There we go. Got that pretty well handled. Um, we'll go for fire rate. Once again, every railgun upgrade is valuable. And I want to try and always align my gun to be in a position where I will be always shooting something, if possible. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that group just immediately. I think my guys can handle that. So I'm going to focus up here and let my turrets handle stuff back there. And let's go ahead and do that. Just kind of help this guy on the left here because he's not going to be able to handle this. Get rid of a bunch of these to make up for the time we lost. Oh, I tried to fire at him right away and, and he vanished. No, no, no. Okay. Ooh. Man, those guys make me nervous, especially on Berserker, because you're just going to die. Okay, so we'll have... Ooh, we have a choice here between Twin Shot and Cobalt Coil Core. Cobalt... Mm, Cobalt Coil Gun. Cobalt Coil Gun is one of the Berserker upgrades. Fire high-density rods uh, stipped from continuous coils of metal, 50% increased impact damage. Um... Oh, limited to single barrel. Oh, we actually don't want that. That's not a Berserker mod. So we'll want to do do Twin Shot instead. So I think Twin Shot leads towards what we're what we're looking for. So now that we have Twin Shot, we can actually aim closer or farther away to spread out our fire. Now, if we aim closer, we do just more damage. If we spread out, we'll do slightly less damage than we used to, I believe. There's not exactly a statistic for that. But uh, um, there's slight, we'll do slightly less damage, but we'll have a wider spread, which is useful in a lot of situations, as you can imagine. We're going to go ahead and put that there, because they just gathered up for us. Wait for the Calamari guy to come back. There he is. Squidface is dead. Okay. Easy, easy wave, easy wave. And we got a free upgrade. So we'll grab more fire rates and more fire rate. Our railgun is becoming very powerful. It'd be nice if we could find some more gimbal speed. Okay, this guy is a problem. So he's going to fire off these 
glowing things. These are actually nukes. Um, and you can't destroy them like you can normal guns. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice that some... Some of those rocks had got into the ground and actually just killed one of my turrets. But what you can do is you can fire at them and push them to the side. Um, normally, if we would have, like... One of the energy weapons, we could also set them off with the lightning. But we can't do that. So we're just going to try and take this carefully. Focus on pushing them out of the way. And then once they're far enough out of the way, we try and do damage to him. We are damaging him. There we go. And he's down. Okay. Get rid of his debris. And make sure none of the uh, debris hits us at the end. Oof. Ah, those guys make me nervous. Calamari Fritty. Now we'll have triple shot. So now we have even more bullets going out. Just a rain. A rain of bullets firing out. I'm going to nuke that guy right away because fuck him. Don't want to deal with him. Use our triple shot to uh, clear up the asteroid up there. We shouldn't need to worry about those little fingers for a little while. Nuke that guy. And there's not really much else on the map right now, so I think I might just kill that guy instead of nuking him. We're waiting for the... Oh, he came out firing. I had to do that. I wasn't sure if I'd make it. Okay, we have to start helping our guys on the ground. Okay, not a bad wave. I hate that I spent so many nukes, but not a bad wave. There we go. Shotgun cannon conversion. So now we have the unique gun for Berserk here. And now we basically have just this huge wide shot that just rips through things. And this is pretty much what I wanted to show you. From this point on, we're just going to be trying to get upgrades and try and survive and just see how far we can make it with this unique weapon that is only available to the Berserker tree. Hopefully we can make some smart decisions and, uh, you know, maybe I'll get a high store or something like that. It's, I, I doubt it. My high store is pretty, I got pretty far. I got to like uh, much farther in the game, but I do know that there is farther that you can get. There's even enemies that I know that there's achievements for that I've never even seen those enemies yet alone defeat them. So okay we need to kill this guy and ideally I'd like to get more automation towers as well um super conductive opponent components will allow me to get more automation towers so that's going to be a dead upgrade but it'll give us more stuff in the future And there's, there's a skill element to the shotgun as well, because the closer you push it in, the less the spread is. But if you if you directly target something, you're just going to do a ton of damage. But if you know that you don't need all that damage, you should spread it out a little bit. Oh, I actually managed to just hit this uh, this igniter group with a nuke and set them off early. Oh, that was actually pretty cool. I love the little chain reactions of the igniter guys. Because each one of them is a nuke and they destroy each other. Okay, so alpha automation is another unique upgrade. Increased production capacity of autonomous machinery to support an additional two outposts. So now we can just buy a crap ton of outposts. We do need to survive long enough to actually get them. And I'm hoping to get that before we get to, like, 20, day 24. Because once we get into the 20s, it becomes a big question mark in my mind on whether we're going to continue to survive, to be honest. Ironically, that little thing right there that just showed up, it eats nukes. But because of our setup, it's probably not going to be that much of a problem. Because, again, we're primarily focused on our gut. It is killable as well. We'll try and kill it if it shows back up. Oh, and 
And that's a nuke tank. We definitely want to kill the nuke tank. You shoot directly above it. You can actually shoot its missiles as they're coming out and push them away. Okay. So now we get more laser towers. Um, and I'm going to adjust my close laser towers to be weakest. And I haven't tried this before, but my idea there is that these will focus on firing at... Um, instead of firing at enemies, they'll fire at, like, shots, like missiles and stuff like that. Because the missiles should almost always be the weakest things that are coming at us. And if that, you know, if there isn't any missiles, then obviously they'll still fire at enemies. What hit me? Oh my god. Okay, I knew that we were going to die, but I didn't know we were going to die that soon. Okay, we're going to run it back and we'll meet you back um, after we get the Berserker upgrade. Okay, we have Berserker again. Um, so we're going to invoke the Berserker Charter immediately, and we're going to immediately get sawed off barrels and then extended mag rail. So we also managed to save a lot more nukes this time. I think I only used one question mark. So we should have a lot more nukes. I also managed to take the uh, a stockpile nukes thing at the beginning, which then gets doubled by uh, nuclear rationing. So that gave us like six extra nukes that we can use. Um, which is pretty nice. So I will I will try and stockpile them. Ooh, hey, it's the special ship. If we kill that, we get a bunch of points. There we go. Nice. That's just a really rare occurrence. It only happens once every once in a while. Like a little UFO. I'm probably going to end up reviewing the footage and figure out what hit me. I imagine it was probably just like uh, a very small ship that I just didn't notice or something like that. Um, I was so focused on what was in the air above me. And I assumed that my guys had it that I imagine a ship with too much HP just kind of flew straight into my thing. It's a shiny. And we can immediately get an institution of automation on day eight, which is... Great. That's about as early as you can get it. Or at least as early as I've ever seen it show up. We don't have any automation yet, though. We do still have to watch out for this. And don't let ourselves die to a shot really early on like this. Oh, that almost hit me. Jesus Christ. Just go and get rid of him. I'm not going to play risky right now. Sucks to spend nukes like that, but, uh, uh it's, it's too hard. Um, oh man, twin shot or laser tower? I think laser tower is higher, a higher need because we need defense against shots. If we spend all of our time killing the shots, we can't spend our time killing the, the alien zeds. Just be careful and be cautious and stay focused. We only really need to kill the stuff that's down the center if stuff starts to get hairy. Uh, we need to kill that uh, teleporter, though, as soon as he shows up. Ooh, jeez. Oh, he was really close to firing. I don't know if I would have gotten him. Let's see. Optimized uh, operations I don't really need. Advanced materials, though, is required. That'll give us our upgrades to our rail gun again. I did see that teleporter just come in. Okay. Too much down the center. Just had to get rid of it. Screw you. Oh, the other one ran into the nuke. That was a uh, better time he could not have had. That was amazing. So that was two hard enemies with one nuke. We got some free damage on the teleporter before he got too close. Oh, he, he teleported to the bad place. Yeah, he, we got a free kill on him. He didn't even get a chance to charge his laser beam. You don't know, whenever he charges that laser beam, he then just instantaneously fires it at you. So you have to kill him before he gets it off. 
Okay, so we got the superconducting mag rail, so that's an amazing thing. And we'll deploy another watchtower. I think we're just doing generally better than we were last time. Which is good, because this is probably going to be my last run. Because it takes a little while to, to get this up and running. I think this game actually has about the exact perfect duration of runs. It's like it's exactly 20 minutes whenever you... As long as you don't, you know, get raffle stomped early or something like that. It happens sometimes. Especially in a run like this where you basically literally just... You can't make a mistake. It is the high damage glass cannon, no survivability uh, build. And that's kind of honestly a, a lot of times one of my favorite builds in any game. Immediately get twin shot. That gets us closer to the shotgun. We also do know that uh, I've seen the roadmap for this game. And it looks like they plan on adding more enemies. They add more new enemy mechanics. There's going to be new weapons, new city types. Uh, this game is going to have a lot of things going on for it. I will also say that um, in my previous video, I said that it was by the same people who made Nova Drift. Uh, that was just a mistake on my part. It's by the same publisher, but not the same developer. Um, the difference between, I'm sure every gamer's run into this, the difference between a publisher and a developer, especially whenever the publisher also makes games themselves and are a developer, Whenever that gets to smaller companies, that difference can sometimes be hard to tell without, like, starting to, like, do some actual digging and research. And, uh, well, I thought I had done my research and I was wrong. So, you know, I corrected the previous video and I do want to, you know, just kind of also correct it here as well. Let's see. Not too bad. Increase fire rate. Anytime I get a chance to upgrade my gun, I'm going to. There's not really any nuke upgrades that I want anymore. So, it's just going to be all on the gun at this point. Gun in the watchtowers, that is. We definitely need to upgrade the watchtowers every time we get a chance. There's an upgrade that I've never taken for the watchtowers. It's called, like, focus lasers or something like that. And uh, we might try it out if it shows up. So, I don't know if it's good or not. I just, I just, I've never tried it. There's almost always been something else available that has caught my eye harder. Got a little nervous there. Twitchy nuke finger. Okay. This guy's a jerk with that shield, so we're gonna nuke him. I just don't want to risk it. Not when there was a rock coming straight at me. Plus, we had 25 nukes. That was, that was fine. Um, optimize operations. We don't really need that. That's only for whenever the uh, towers die. And none of them have died yet, so we don't need to get it yet. Well, that guy died immediately, so we can help on the ground right away this time. Just trying to free up our laser towers. And we have a Calamari guy. Okay. I'd like to do this without using any nukes. Well, I'm going to use a nuke to get rid of the guy in the background. We're going to try and defend our towers as well. Possible. Well, I'm going to say if possible very lightly here. Because that was Jenny Harry. We can use a nuke to activate his nukes. If we need to. Okay. We have gotten rid of all of the adds now. We should just have to fight this guy. Oh, one of those dropped really close to my city. This is essentially like a boss. A mini boss, I guess. You know, I love how I said I don't need the regeneration, and then immediately the same wave that I didn't take the regeneration, all of my towers went down. That's just how this game works. It's okay, they'll be back. Uh, install triple shot? Yes. Shotgun cannon conversion. Beautiful. Now we can worry about other things. Just such a strong upgrade. And our towers are back already. 
And we're already running into these motherfuckers. I'm... I love them because it's so cool to watch them explode. But they do have a lot of HP. They take a lot of shots. I almost bet you that it was one of those guys that killed me. I probably just, like, missed one somewhere. I can't tell you how many times I've died to them. And look how easy it is to deal with these shots now. I just killed that guy with his own nuke. There's even a challenge for that. It's called hard cheese. Destroy an enemy by triggering its own nuke. Nice. So yeah, high frequency laser. This is the one that I was talking about. It's a one-time instant recharge. Regeneration and recharge doubles times double. Um, to del and it also delivers 50% more damage per second. Seems pretty good, to be honest. I think we're going to go ahead and upgrade one of them with that. I've never actually used this upgrade before. Considering we don't have the most firepower in the world, it seems like a good idea. We're gonna go back to focusing. I was going to say on the asteroids. And then that guy showed up. Oh god, that got close. Let's just fucking get rid of him. Okay, I mean we have 26 nukes, so we have plenty of nukes. We need to not worry too much about holding holding back on them. We'll do increased fire rates. Oh wow, that was really noticeable increased fire rate. And I do believe, I don't have any confirmation on this, but I do believe that all of my upgrades to my coil gun or to my rail gun are kept up until now. Actually, I can probably check. There's a spot um, on the level up screen where we can look at our upgrades. So far, nothing of real threats. Okay, that's a threat. It vanished, though. It looks like I got a bunch of... Yeah, I got a bunch of damage on it before it left. That thing is intentionally defending those... the swarms, I feel like. It doesn't seem like a coincidence that it hung out next to the thing that I'd want to nuke. 28 nukes. Okay, I'm starting to feel good. Maximum fire rate. Okay, hold on. R real quick. Let's do status. Um, it doesn't say. It doesn't say whether all of these fire rates and everything have benefited me, but it just said maximum fire rate. So I like the idea of taking this because now we know that we can't get better than this. I mean, look at this. This is awesome. Just a truly awesome amount of firepower. And I mean that in the literal way. It inspires awe. At the same time, <laughs> they're still going to get stronger. So we really do st need to continue to stockpile nukes to just see how far we can get. Oh, okay, we need to kill these guys. These are the ones that drop nukes on us. They're a problem. We're going to be using nukes this way. There's nothing we can do about it. If I get a chance, I think I'll upgrade that less left laser tower. Even before getting another one, I think. The upgraded laser tower seemed really useful. Yeah, there we go. High frequency laser. Okay. So I got two higher damage lasers now. And I should be able to get more lasers in the future as well. Oh, look at that. Just like a rain of fire down on them. We have become the bullet hell. Those guys are a problem. He's going to put off more nukes. And he immediately just took out one of our guys. It's okay. We just immediately took him out because of the sheer fucking amount of damage that we have. 
immediately taking out that m missile guy because he was going to be a threat. And his missile almost hit me. I didn't notice until the last second. Oh, that was really unnecessarily close. Okay, um, optimize operations. We don't really need. Let's go ahead and reroll. Superconductive components would give us extra turrets. Yeah, let's do it. It was either that or we get the ricochet munitions, which does seem good with the shotgun, but I liked the idea of extra turrets even hot better. Having a research wave this late in the game does feel awful, though, I will say. Oh, we got to kill them. Those are the new guys. I never recognize them until it's too late. That guy ran into the nuke. That was amazing. Immediately nuke him. The nuke guys are like blue or something. Okay. Good. I don't have to worry about the ground anymore. Both my turrets are back up. Just rid of, rid of as many of these little explodey dudes as possible. Ah, oh, really close to a second upgrade. Um, yeah, ricochet munitions. That seems like a good upgrade. So theoretically, they should bounce off and hit other targets. And there should just be a chaos of munitions in the sky at this point. Which will help us pretty drastically as well. It feels like we're pretty strong at this point, but don't be fooled. They're getting stronger every way. And in my experience, it feels like they're getting stronger than we are getting stronger. They're getting stronger faster than we are, usually. That guy's dead. That's good. There's still a teleporter around here somewhere. We're gonna pop these guys, see if we can use them to destroy the teleporter. I don't know if we did or if he teleported. I think we killed him. We used the little fire guys who are mini nukes to kill the big dude. Nice. Free upgrade. Okay. Adaptive beam focusing. Laser outposts can individually prioritize damage over range or vice versa. Oh, that's cool. Or alpha automation. I think we're going to do adaptive beam focusing. So this could be long range or max damage. I like the long range, I think. Oh, and then we have a second upgrade. Um, we don't need alpha automation right now because we can still deploy laser towers. So I think the extra range might help us a lot so that they're firing all the time. Oh, this is a new enemy. It's new forms of geometry. Oh, and there's a special guy back here. We need to focus him down. Make sure we don't die. Now we'll go back to focusing him down. He just has so much more HP at this point, too. We might nuke this Calamari guy if anything else shows up. Like these blue guys who drop nukes. We just use all of those nukes that happened with the blue guys to obliterate the calamari guy right away. Those blue guys uh, end most of my runs, just gonna say. The extra range on the watchtowers is kind of amazing. I've never used that upgrade before. Calamari and a shiny. High frequency lasers. Oh, that just upgrades one. So we'll go ahead and deploy one instead of upgrading. I like the idea of having extras. I wonder if I can upgrade their range too. Maybe I leave some on long range and then some on short range. I don't really play a lot of tower defenses, so I don't really know what the strategy is for like what you should do on like prioritize smallest, prioritize highest HP. And I don't know what the strategy there generally is. 
I don't really play tower defense games. Uh, wow, we murdered that guy. This guy just dropped a bomb on us. Bomb ended up hitting one of our towers, but in the end, that's uh, an acceptable loss. Oh my god, are you kidding me? He got the shield up just in time to defend himself from that. It's okay. Is that bomb destructible? It is. Okay. It's not a nuke, though. It was like something different. Interesting. Let's see. High frequency lasers. Optimized. Let's reroll. Advanced ricochet. Okay. That seems good. Day 24. We're quickly approaching my best, which is day 27. And I feel pretty strong. And with 25 nukes, I am at the point where anytime I see a threat, I'm probably just going to nuke it. Just immediately. Oh, I was hoping that I did that. We're going to nuke right here. Okay. That guy shoots homing missiles at you. He only goes over once, though. Like, he only uh, pass over once. We're going to clear the air first before we worry about the stuff that's on the ground because we do have a lot of turrets. I'm kind of keeping an eye on it, but I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I'm going to put a nuke right there just to kind of clear everything up. We lost a turret. Not the end of the world, though. Oh, no. They only just... They took damage. They had 5% HP. Oh, my God. Look at that round. Okay. So much. Um... Alpha automation. That's a good time. We'll be able to go up to six turrets. Day 25. We got this. We got this. This is... I'm at 310,000. This is officially going to be one of my best runs. And it's one for YouTube. What's the fucking streamer luck there? Like, that's amazing. It's not luck. It's skill. We all know that. Get rid of this asteroid while we wait for that guy to come back. We're going to put a nuke right there, because that's where they're all circling. Just kind of get rid of a bunch of them. Break their formation. Kill that guy right away. Kill these guys right away. We have other things that we need to worry about. There is a... Nuke car over here. Tank. I am just panicking. Ho oh, ho ho. I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was a missile that got about a quarter of a centimeter to our city. Oh, we used a lot of upgrade a lot of things, but at the same time we got it. Ooh, what's this? Orbital blunderbuss. Further increases angle and velocity spread from pent-up gun barrels. 18% increased damage per second overall. Well, that's new to me. And we get another laser tower. We are just pure aggression at this point. Also, our gun looks amazing. That man just stood in the wrong place. Little laser guy uh, literally stood in the middle of a swarm, which... Gave me all of the encouragement I needed to nuke him. I uh, nuked too soon. Come on, just kill him. Because of the width of our blunderbuss here, we're actually able to both shoot that guy and push his nuke away at the same time. Kind of amazing. Last laser tower. Okay. We got all of our laser towers up and going. If we get the opportunity, we could probably start upgrading them. It's tempting to increase their range, too, because I do notice that they're not firing all the time. That was scary. He just teleported on top of me and dropped off. Oh, 
Oh, these guys are bad. We need to kill them. Those are the blue guys. Just nuke whenever we need to. Okay. Most of our turrets went down to that, but uh, we did survive. Oh my god, it's not over yet. Come on. One of our turrets is already up. Ooh, okay. Huh. Let's increase recharge times on our nukes. Or on our uh, turrets. This is the farthest I've ever made it. Officially. Sitting at 373. to nuke that guy off on the right side there. Help our turrets out so that they don't get bogged down. Get rid of the anti-nuker. It's about threat assessment at this point. We're going to nuke the guy on the ground over there. We managed to kill one of the laser guys. No, no, don't kill me! Oh my god. He shot a tower instead. Holy crap. That was actually just, like, luck at that point. I can't believe that he, I, I thought 100% he was going to shoot me. Oh, do you taste metal? What's that for? Launch 50 nuclear warheads of any kinds before the city falls. I've shot 50 nukes. Holy crap. Um, Let's go for a high-frequency laser. And we're going to use it to reset this laser to get it back. As well as upgrade it. Week 5. Officially the farthest I've ever been. I think I killed him. There's an achievement for killing that guy, so I really wanted to get him. Again, these guys are a problem because they launched nukes. Oh my God, come on. Don't die to a rock. I almost died to a rock. Jesus. That was a rough wave, even though it only lasted... Oh, it's not over. Bye. We got that guy's nukes to blow up on himself. Come on. Generate, you fuckers. I need your I need my towers. There we go. Oh. We need to remember to adjust our towers. So what I'm going to do is I am going to. Set all of these guys to long range and leave them on nearest so that they're always firing. That's my idea. It does lower their damage. We, maybe we leave these guys on Matt's damage. So if anything gets close to the city, they'll blow it up. That's my thought process. Also, the music changed at some point. What? What? That's a new enemy. That slime shot a laser beam at us. Okay, we survived. So far. I ate my nuke. There. Okay. Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. Another high frequency laser. Do one of these guys on the sides. It's like lo fi rain sounds music now. Just 
Focus on staying alive. Focus on staying alive. Use a nuke as a barrier. Oh my god, I can't believe we survived that. Oh god. We're probably dead. I just realized we're down to one nuke. One nuke. All of our stockpiling has got us this far. We'll survive as long as we can, boys. We'll get, we'll do this as long as we can, but I don't know if we're in this for much longer at this point. Um, can we roll, roll into anything? I don't think there's much research left to be done at this point. It's not giving us anything new. They're just trying to kill us at this point. tunnel through and just kill that guy there okay no 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 oh i couldn't i couldn't i saw the nuke coming in but i couldn't gimbal over fast enough ah damn that's hard i still didn't see the new enemy there's like some supposed to be like some sort of like like totem destruction or something like that i still didn't see the new enemy how far do we have to get holy crap well anyways uh that was day 31 with 450,000 final store nearly I, I mean, I got 200 or 150,000 more than my previous high score, so I'm happy. And uh, yeah, this has been Utopia Must Fall. That is the Berserker path. Next time, we're going to be doing the other available path, the Hermit Protocol, and uh, hope to see you there. Bye.